नमस्ते वेलकमिंग ईच वन ऑफ यू गाइस इन दिस अमेजिंग सेशन ऑन यस द एडवांस फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट गाइस आर वी रेडी टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू देन लेट द गेम बिगिन सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद वेरी लेफ्ट यस्टरडे सो यस्टरडे आई गेव यू अ ब्रीफ ओवर यू ऑफ वॉट एग्जैक्टली द सब्जेक्ट इज ऑल अबाउट ठीक है विल ट्राई टू ऑलवेज रिवाइज वॉट वी हैड डन अर्लियर as much as the time permits and this is what we did yesterday phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 is how we have divided the whole subject into okay phase 1 will consist of mutual fund portfolio management valuation of security this becomes my phase 1 a medium medium level and will cover 25 to 30 marks for sure also this chap this phase becomes very important in your uh paper 6 ibs as well in case your group 2 is also pending why for a simple reason guys that this three chapters frankly speaking uh are connected to practical world mutual funds portfolio management these are all connected to the client coming to a chartered accountant and asking him that sir this is my portfolio how can you help me this is the portfolio of mutual funds how can you help me and that's where i'll use these chapters then comes phase 2 forex derivatives ifm irrm then comes phase 3 mergers acquisitions corporate business valuation the phase 3 becomes important because a, a totally new chapter advanced capital budgeting has been introduced phase 2 becomes important because it is the deadly forex derivatives my most 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 favorite and then phase 4 is important because it is usually ignored by all the students why because it is theory see this phase 4 is fully theory so that is where it becomes kind of ignored topic but we should not especially with mcqs in our examinations theory will play a very important role because those mcqs will come from the you right theory all right guys chal so on that note ladies and gentlemen we are going to start our session today with a different theme okay i am still not starting with any topic today i still want to keep it light today maximum i'll take a, an hour session maximum and and i'll be done but today i am going to set the base foundation something no finance professor is ever going to tell you in a a, a classroom lecture did you hear me yes no finance professor ever is going to teach you what i am going to teach you today a connection of the macroeconomic factors with the stock market people will come and teach you the formulas which even i am going to do people will teach you the <clears throat> practical questions but nobody is going to touch base on things that i am practically going to give you in today's session so be ready for it understanding of global financial markets with financial system in india you know there is a saying there is a saying acha chalo i am asking you before i say that saying is global financial markets connected with the financial system in india or let's put it vice versa is financial system in india connected with the global financial markets please tell me if yes or no what do you feel let's be interactive that was our first uh, uh, feed forward that we learned yesterday tell me guys चल डन सो पीपल आर सेइंग सर डेफिनेटली 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 एंड द यूनानिमस आंसर इज यस 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 द फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड गाइस एंड इट इज अ सेइंग दैट इफ यूएसए स्नीजेस द होल वर्ल्ड कैचेस कफ यस सो लेट मी टेल यू व्हेन यू विल स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग every day morning say 9:30 the trading window starts stock market trading window starts everybody what everybody does is they check what happened to the us market the previous night i have personally observed 8 out of 10 times 
it's a big number 7 to 8 out of 10 times guys the us market functions uh, sorry the indian market functions based on how us market has functions the previous day so if it has gone down it is a clear indication to us that if it has gone up so yes we are highly highly connected and other than that there are so many other factors that connect the financial system of india today i take this opportunity to lay down the foundation for understanding the global financial markets with financial system in india and guys let me tell you that in that understanding of financial system of india there are two major things that we need to understand the whole financial market is dependent on two things before i move on to the two things let me tell you do you at your level read any financial based newspaper if not please ensure you start reading economic times now to everything is available in the form of a uh, print so my suggestion is please ensure that you guys are reading it on a regular daily basis what say guys will you start doing that you should and whenever you will open the economic times or you know business times or mint or any of these uh, uh finance based paper you will find one typical characteristic and what is that typical characteristic the whole market is broadly majorly guys dependent on two things any guesses what are those two things the market movement is dependent largely again on a daily basis obviously there are many factors which affect the market but largely broadly the global financial market the indian financial market is dependent on two major things any idea any countries any countries guys economic or financial policy very nice yaar very nice sudarshan s very nice brother rithik demand and supply very nice so the two major things are let me tell you well they are one interest rates yes who decides this interest rates the rbi governor there is a, a monetary policy team which decides this interest rates and trust me there is a huge impact of this on the market have you heard this the rbi cuts the repo rate by 25 basis points the rbi increases the uh, uh, repo rate by 50 basis points what is that that is your interest rates and whenever rbi does that just look at the impact it has on the market and you will realize that how how big this factor plays a role and the other is inflation and the other is inflation yes every month every week there is a inflation check by the government and today i am going to discuss how these two factors guys if not handled properly can result into a disaster of economy for years and years to come so tomorrow if you become the finance minister of india or the rbi head or a part of monetary policy you should know that your first and primary responsibility is management of these two factors and how is it going to happen first i will tell you if this is not managed properly what can happen and second how are you going to manage it properly and the impact of what i am going to teach you today will be relevant till my last lecture mark my words till my last lecture the impact is going to be relevant yes 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 gotcha everybody getting my point good good to know that so now yeah chalo so let's start first with an example i have always told you all yesterday also that i will always teach you examples connect you to the concepts and then practical sums some background music is there today 
for obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay. Now the first impact. is of interest rates chalo i will give you an example to understand this tell me the top 3 economies of the world chalo let's understand how good you are in your overall understanding of global market i should know no whom am i speaking to chalo tell me guys top 3 countries with the largest gdps in the world top 3 countries let's see the first answer is very obvious second answer is also obvious my discussion is going to be based on the third point let's see whether you are able to catch it or not okay public is saying us china india i told you first and second is obvious and you are correct then somebody says usa china russia i told you first two are going to be obvious third is going to change usa china india usa china russia no check out your google and chalo tell me let's do some effort usa china russia no usa china india no usa china yes so which is that third country guys usa china france no uk usa china no <laughs> Come on check at least the Google and tell me USA, China, Germany, Germany. Anudeep saying no. Well, it is USA, China, and Japan. Yes, Japan is the third one as per Google, and it is correct, my boy. Harkiran Kaur Rajyat, Germany. No, it is Japan. Now, just imagine this, huh? Japan's total land area is equivalent to that of rajasthan hello listen to me japa japan's total land area land mass is equal to that of rajasthan state of india that's it one small rajasthan state of india that is equivalent to japan and it is world's third largest economy now one so one 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 good information that you have got chalo what information you have got today you have learned that japan is the third largest economy as per gdp and it is not today it is amongst the top 3 for the last 40 years hello yes third largest economy as per gdp as per gdp so it's huge huge mm -hmm. consumption or a uh, huge manufacturing hub of the world is japan let's the moment guys i don't know what's wrong with the screen it's in a disco mode today disco divana so it's in a disco mode let's get it sorted just a moment yes so japan third largest economy as per gdp now here comes my here comes my point japan a small country but still huge impact on the whole world the manufacturing hub do you know in the 1950s all of us know this Japan was bombed two bombs rocked Japan one was in Hiroshima and the other unfortunately in Nagasaki it devastated Japan 1950s 
it devastated USA and Japan. The country was destroyed, but it did not bow down. It stood up, and nine. Just imagine, ah, just look at my numbers now. Nineteen fifties, Japan is destroyed. Just imagine, one you are already a very small country, and of that small country, your two top cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, are bombed, are destroyed. Japan was in shambles. Japan was in shambles. Cut to nineteen sixty-eight. You will not believe, guys. It became the second largest GDP country in the world. GDP country in the world. Just imagine, you know. So this was a great, great thing. India is still fighting for its bullet train in twenty 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 five, but this Japan had its first bullet train in the year nineteen sixties. In nineteen sixties, the Olympics were held in Tokyo. At that point in time, they already had bullet train. Guys, just imagine the speed with which they have grown here as such immense. immense 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 top largest was usa second largest was gdp but 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 some things didn't last forever now listen continue listening in 1970s in 1970s the japan stock market okay in 1970s the japan stock market any idea india has Sensex and Nifty. I'll explain you these two terms later on. But just telling you, India has Sensex and Nifty. In the same way, Japan has stock market named Nikkei. Has stock market named Nikkei. Yeah. So it's a stock market index called as Nikkei. Now listen to this, ah. Huh? In eighty five, approximately nineteen eighty five. Nikkei was fourteen thousand points. Okay, fair. In the year say nineteen eighty nine, Nikkei was thirty nine thousand points with a dollar five million. Sorry, five trillion economy. Yes, they had almost a five trillion economy. Can you imagine, guys? Huge, huge, huge. So. that's how the whole economy of japan was doing okay now my next question to you is this in 1990 say japan economy was dollar 5 trillion can anybody tell me in the year 2024 5 Say what is Japan's economy equal to? Can anybody tell me this? Sure, I am waiting for your answers eagerly. Please tell me, guys. Come on, tell me. I am waiting. Japan's economy in nineteen eighty nine ninety. I told you all. Just look at this index. Nineteen eighty five fourteen thousand points. Nineteen eighty nine thirty nine thousand points. Like seriously. Almost three times in four years, no economy ever has grown so high, so quickly. Cut to thirty-five years later. Can you tell me what is Japan's economy equal to? Come on, guys. Any wild guesses? Don't watch Google or anything. Just give me wild guesses. No watching Google or anything, please. Come on, tell me. Trillion trillion dollars, very nice. Fifteen trillion dollars, very nice. Four to five times, so dollar twenty trillion. Okay. Dollar twelve trillion. Okay. 
let me tell you you will be shocked to know it is still in the range of dollar 5.5 trillion oh gosh it still is the third largest economy it still has the highest manufacturing capacity amongst the highest in the whole world but still just as per the calculation approx index will be 2 lakh 12500 and let me tell you the index is still in 39000 range 40 years down the line japan has still not recovered of one of its biggest financial mistake do you want to know now are you are you flabbergasted are you surprised and shocked with this i mean look at this economy which was growing leaps and bounds has been in stuck for what 40 years why not increased mayur everybody does everybody want to know the reason why i mean you are in shock should be even i was when i got to know about it <laughs> definitely i will tell you all definitely i will tell you now listen So now I am going to take you to the whole story of what happened with Japan and uh, why even after 40 years it still is where it was even after working hard and being the manufacturing up listen to me carefully. So what happened is uh, the reason one of the reason is there is something called as Park Plaza uh, documentation I will explain you. Japan currency appreciation was one of the main reasons i'll explain you how or what happened see pay attention so there were chalo i'll give you an example i'll connect you with the indian context and then you'll realize suppose you are the indian exporter guys i am going to explain you the examples only if i get answers from you all huh? otherwise i'm not bothered to give i'll just directly run to the concepts so you have to answer whatever question i'm asking you suppose you are the indian exporter hello suppose you are the indian exporter now, suppose if you are Indian exporter, tell me when will you be happy? When $1, suppose today is rupees 90, tomorrow $1 ru becomes rupees 95. Will you be happy here or will you be happy here in case 2? When $1 equal to 90 and then $1 becomes rupees 75. Will you be happy in case 1 or will you be happy in case 2 if you are an Indian exporter? Ladies and gentlemen, everybody tell me. Come on guys. Tell me, you will be happy in case 1 or case 2 if you are an Indian exporter. Bolo, bolo, tell, tell. But obvious reason? First situation. Why? Because in the first situation, say, $1 into 95. So, ye ho jata. this becomes rupees 95 lakh. And, and, and here, if I look, dollar 1 lakh into 75 this becomes 75 lakh obviously this is not good this is not good but this is what started happening in japan japanese japanese currency started appreciating japanese currency started appreciating so there was a huge appreciation in Japanese currency. Do you know what happened? One dollar, hello, one dollar was 350 yen. We wanted it to go to 400 yen. But Japan was rising so fast that one dollar instead of going to uh, 400 yen, it appreciated. Do you understand? What is happening here? So, we wanted this to happen, but this did not happen. In fact, Japanese currency appreciated. So, when I say Japanese currency is appreciating, see, you may not know the in-depth. I will teach you in in-depth. Don't worry, in Forex. But just to give you an idea that this, this is what happened. Now, tell me exporters will be happy or exporters will be sad. 
Tell me exporters will be happy or exporters will be sad. Tell me guys, everybody. Yes, exporters were sad. They felt that, oh, this is not done, yaar. Now, if you are an exporter, tell me, if this is happening to the currency, yes, the exporters will be sad. Now, tell me, if you are an exporter, will you want to export or you will want to sell locally tell me if you are a japanese exporter and if this is happening you will want to export or you will to you will want to sell locally tell me come on guys so japanese exporters japanese exporters went to the government of japan and said that we now don't we want to sell locally we want to sell locally because selling outside our country we are losing almost 30 percent of the money that we used to earn because of the currency appreciation so they told that we want to sell locally now as a government if you want to now i'm using some macroeconomic factors if you don't understand anything you can ask me as much as many times as you want huh? okay now, if I'm the government of Japan and I want that my local consumption should increase, can I say it is going to increase only if the local public have money? If local public don't have money, they will not be able to purchase the goods. And if they are not able to purchase the goods, the exporters will not be able to sell locally. Are we understanding, guys? So what was now the main aim of the government of Japan to increase local consumption? Am I clear, everyone? Tell me guys, Japan government's intention was to sell locally. How will it work if people have money? If people have money, can I say local consumption will increase? If local consumption, hello, if local consumption has to increase, can I say local people, people should have money? Local people, huh? Local people should have money. Are bolo yaar, yes or no? Local people should have money. And if local people need money, local consumption should increase. And if you want to increase the local consumption, then tell me, how is it going to work? How will you increase the local consumption? Can anybody tell me, guys? Well, as a government, you will have to do one thing. Correct. Mayur has said absolutely right. You will have to reduce interest rates. Why will you reduce interest rates? Which interest rates are we talking about? This is loan or borrowing interest rates. Loan or borrowing interest rates. So, I will have to reduce interest rate. Which interest rates? Borrowing. Once loan or borrowing interest rates are reduced, then it will become easy for everybody to take loan. Increase money supply by reducing interest rates. So, reducing interest rates will increase money supply. If money supply is increased, people should have money. Local people have money. Then what will happen? Local consumption will increase local consumption will increase am i clear everybody are we understanding this economics tell me guys yes or no bolo bolo tell tell and if local consumption increases the exporters will be happy because now they don't have to export they can hear they can you know sell in the local market thinking this thinking this the government of japan took the bold step and the interest rates in say 1985 
were two uh, were six percent were reduced to two percent. Yay! So from six percent, the interest rates were reduced to two percent. To two percent. Are we understanding, guys? Bolo bolo, tell tell. Yes. So. So, government of Japan now has only two percent as interest rates. Everybody in Japan is very very happy. People now start taking loan. People now start taking loan. Now the government of Japan thought that people will take loan for local consumption. People used this loan to invest in two places and they took loan handsomely and invested in two places. One stock market, other real estate. One stock market, other real estate. That is the reason this went from 14,000 points to guys 39,000 points. But real estate, what happened here is a different story altogether which shook the foundations of Japan and it shook it in such a way that Japan was not able to recover even after 40 long years almost. Do you know why? What happened? Pay attention. People gave this loan. Why? So that local consumption increases. Did local consumption increase? No. People started taking loan, invest in stock market, other invest in real estate. Now what happened is this. Suppose I take a loan, say of rupees 10 lakh. I take a loan of rupees 10 lakh and build a house. And I build a house. Taking a loan of 10 lakh rupees. Okay, done. Very good. Now, Along with me, there were thousands, there were thousands of Japanese people who started taking loan for house called as home loan. What will happen to the real estate prices of homes? What will happen to the real estate prices of loan? Tell me, everybody. I have taken a loan by, I have taken a loan, invested in real estate house I have purchased. My friend has done the same, other has done the same, other has done the same. The demand increases immensely of the housing sector, of the real estate sector. What will happen to the real estate sector? Bull, tell me, what will happen to the real estate sector? Tremendous increase? Yes, logically, this is what actually happened. Real estate demand in Japan skyrocketed. Real estate demand in Japan skyrocketed. Now what happened is this. Just listen up. I had purchased a house for rupees 10 lakhs. Now let me tell you, this house is now worth rupees 50 lakhs. Why? Because demand is increased. So value of house has increased. So see, real estate demand increases. What will happen? Value of real estate increased. And it increased immensely. I, my now home, which I purchased for 10 lakhs, is worth how much? 50 lakh. Taking this as a mortgage. I took another loan of 40 lakh and reinvested in a new real estate property. In a new real estate property. Guys, just imagine. I took another 40 lakh rupees loan. Based on this value of home, which is 50 lakhs, I purchased another home. Another home. Everybody started doing this. The real estate price is increasing, increasing. But it was all a bubble. You know, have you seen a balloon? Balloon is full of air. Even if a small 
prick in that balloon it will burst and this is what happened to the real estate mm -hmm. market of japan the impact of which is still even today which happened in 1990s why see here now i started taking loan i started taking loan and the real estate market increased but there was a point there was a point when government had to stop giving loans now if it stopped giving loans i will have to repay the, uh, my principal and interest amount i did not have enough money to pay that and what happened i had to sell my mortgage property now what happened is this see in japan i took a loan when interest was 2% now the interest is 6% i was previously paying interest say if i have taken a loan of 100 lakhs say 1 lakhs i was paying a interest of 2000 now i have to pay a interest of 6000 because government realized that people are now see here government chalo come here now government has realized that people are using the money not for consumption but for investing in real estate market but for investing in stock market what will you do as a government what will you do as a government tell me tell me what will you do as a government correct increase the interest rates am i right this is what government did they said chal 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 now we will increase the interest rates people are unnecessarily taking the loan now everybody had taken loan thinking that interest rate will be 2% now they have to pay 6% or three times more on the same loan people were not able to repay not able to repay now when you are not able to repay what will happen ladies and gentlemen when you are not able to repay what will happen sell mortgaged properties sell mortgaged properties when i sell mortgaged properties what happen over supply of real estate and real estate market crashes and it crashes in such a way that even the 10 lakh property which had become 50 lakh which had become 80 lakh now is equivalent to 8 lakh even below 20% below its original price it continued and it came down to 5 lakh even after 40 years it has just now reached the level of 10 lakhs there was a time in tokyo in 1980 mid after 85 88 89 the tokyo real estate market was the biggest largest in terms of per area square feet rate but then the bubble burst and this is what happened to their real estate even the 10 lakh property was now worth 5 lakh rupees to get back to this level again they had to use at least spend 40 serious years are you understanding guys are you with me so this is what happened and 40 years were spent 40 years were spent what years were spent without any any regain just imagine what what was the one rate what was the one reason what was the one reason that this happened tell me what was the one reason that this happened that japan went down by 40 years can anybody tell me what was the one reason one major reason why this happened tell me guys come on
करेक्ट चेंज इन इंटरेस्ट रेट एवरीबडी हैज रिटर्न द करेक्ट आंसर नॉट माइंडफुल ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट एब्सल्यूटली करेक्ट द होल इंपैक्ट Do you realize how useful or impactful this interest rates is? Now people under do the whole chapter, whole subject without even realizing these important terminologies that what interest rate can do to you. I know I am spending one whole lecture over this, but I hope your foundations are clear now. Now you realize how important it is for the finance minister of India, for the RBI governor to frame the policies. interest rates in such a way that it doesn't affect the whole market the whole economy which can have an impact for decades to come right right did you find this interesting did you find this useful and how is it going to connect to your syllabus that also i will tell you at the appropriate time so this is the first thing that i wanted to tell you all that interest rates should be controlled and managed in a very very smart manner i hope we are clear I mean, just imagine, was Japan in 1980s? Japan of 1980s is best technology. Best technology in the whole world is with Japan. Best, uh, you can say the whole uh, the people of Japan. best people best gdp best exports and still what happened just one interest rate miscalculation just one interest rate miscalculation and devastates the whole economy that's how it is right now in the same breath is important the other term which we are now going to understand and that is inflation all of us know what is inflation sharp rise in prices of commodities is inflation fair point absolutely correct name a country which has faced hyper inflation in last few years come on let's see how much you know your economics country which country any country recently which has faced hyper inflation in the last say uh, 10 to 20 years come on let's see argentina in recent times very good kiri pakistan very good zimbabwe absolutely correct and that is where my example today is going to start from it is based on zimbabwe all of us feel that zimbabwe is a poor country hai na right so let me give you some anecdote regarding this 1980s 1980s zimbabwe was called as the crown of africa yes it was called as the crown of africa but what happened see here and and just to tell you 1 dollar was equal to 1 zimbabwean dollar 1 us dollar 1 us dollar it was equal to 1 zimbabwean dollar in 1980s huh? cut to 2000s 1 us dollar equal to 350 350 billion zimbabwe dollar like seriously <laughs> just in that in this up just look at this not 350 350 billion zimbabwe dollar what happened what happened brother this happened now pay attention again to my story listen to this 1980s things were going good for zimbabwe okay then mid 1980s what happened is this there were some uh, natural calamities that happened in mid 1980s there were some
there were some natural calamities that happened there were some natural calamities that happened in the mid 1980s what were those there were some natural calamities that happened and zimbabwe had a tough time there were medical issues in zimbabwe natural calamities there were some medical issues in japan and zimbabwe had a tough time so what it did was it took loan from usa to zimbabwe zimbabwe took loan from united states of america it took loan from united states of america okay why because people did not have money so they took loan from usa so that they can manage the health issues to manage health issues in zimbabwe okay to manage health issues in zimbabwe zimbabwe took loan from us now obviously do you need to repay the loan guys i am asking you do you need to repay the loan obvio so what did government do government did not have money government of zimbabwe g o g government of zimbabwe did not have money to repay did not have money to repay loan do you know what it started doing it started printing currency it started printing currency why because printing currency they what they did is they started printing currency to give to the people and to repay the loan so they used this currency to to do thing to do two things repay loan and give to general public give to general public now what happens is this because of this over over printing because of this over over printing the value of goods decreased and the price increased now what happens is this suppose you have a lot of money you will start spending over over printing people started having lot of money people started having lots of money people started spending recklessly started spending recklessly what happened is price of all commodities increased why because there was easy liquidity in the market are you understanding price of price of all commodities increased why because of inflation so there was easy liquidity in the market there was easy liquidity in the market now what happened because of that the price started increasing they started printing more money more money was printed price again started increasing and there was a time when when 1 dollar us dollar was equal to 1 lakh zimbabwean dollar now to repay this again they started printing more and then finally there was a 1 million zimbabwean dollar note this is not sufficient 1 billion zimbabwean dollar note this is not sufficient 1 trillion zimbabwean dollar note was introduced was was introduced just i'll i'll show you say wait i'll show you zimbabwe notes why did this happen why did this happen for what reason did this happen finally there was such a bad situation in zimbabwe that in order to buy one loaf of bread you had to pay 1 billion dollar zimbabwe rupee zimbabwean dollar 
I mean, like seriously, guys. See this? Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, one hundred trillion dollar note. Hundred trillion Zimbabwean dollar note, one dollar one. And from this one note, you can buy just one loaf of bread. Boy, that was a disaster. And eventually, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened eventually? Zimbabwean currency was abolished. Zimbabwe currency abolished. They transferred themselves. The whole country transferred themselves to US dollar. Just imagine Zimbabwe currency demolished and Zimbabwe economy crashed. What was the reason? Not able to manage inflation. Only one reason not able to manage inflation. So we have understood two practical examples of countries where we were not able to manage the interest rates we were not able to manage the inflation one led to stagflation other led to hyperinflation both economies had a terrible time for more than 20 to 30 years more than 2 to 3 decades now does this tell you the importance of interest rates and inflation guys it should and it does Gotcha, everybody. So, this is the reason I'm telling you to understand these two things is the most important thing in the financial market. But people don't give that importance. They directly start with any chapter, formulas, everything. Are wait, Baba. We'll do that also. But let's understand the economics of global markets, of financial system throughout the world. Right? So, tell me the two most important reasons. Hello? Tell me the two most important reasons. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Tell me the two most important reasons. Why? Wow. What are the most important points that a financial minister of India should take care of? Two most important factors for government slash RBI slash RBI tell me Yes, guys. Two most important factors for government or RBI. Bolo, kya hai? Ek, one, interest. And the other is inflation. Suppose in the next 15 minutes, if I make you the RBI governor and tell you how to manage interest rates and inflation, will you want to learn and listen, that, listen to that or no? Tell me. Tell me guys. What do we learn from inflation? That it can result into, this is called as Japanese asset bubble. Also called as stagflation.
and the other is called as what happened with inflation not management currency got discontinued currency dot discontinued in zimbabwe resulting into hyper inflation guys hyper inflation do you want to understand this the answer is yes chalo let's start now tell me do you understand now what is the most important role of the rbi governor what is the most important role of the rbi governor can you tell me now from now on can you tell me what is the most important role of rbi governor everybody logically can you tell me yes sir we can remember japan we can remember in zimbabwe we will be able to recover remember what are the two most important roles thing of rbi governor and that is to manage hello to manage what to manage interest and the other is to manage inflation to manage interest and to manage inflation yes keep eye on these two factors and they both are complementary one is used to manage other other is used to manage one you want to know how now i am going to tell you teach you something that even top cleared chartered accountants do not know only the people who are in the finance field know this impact other than that even people who are in stat audit or internal audit or tax they don't even know what i am going to teach you right now yes chalo let's start pay attention suppose you are the rbi governor of india okay and there is a hyper inflation happening what is inflation basically what is inflation inflation is easy liquidity do you understand this why does inflation happen the main reason of inflation is easy liquidity because if li easily liquidity is available in the market hello if easily liquidity is available in the market people will start buying people will start buying demand will increase demand will increase the prices of the commodities will increase do you understand this yes or no tell me guys tell me guys yes or no okay sir yes inflation is easily liquidity now suppose you are the rbi governor suppose you are the rbi governor and in your country <coughs> and in your country there is inflation hyper inflation what will you want to do can i say you will have to curb liquidity you will try to reduce liquidity how will you do that you there is inflation increasing in india you want to reduce the inflation by reducing the liquidity how will you do that how will you do that tell me think and tell me how will you manage liquidity <clears throat> hari prasanna is saying reducing interest rate <clears throat> everybody is saying no if you are saying increase interest rate you are saying reduce see i'll tell you if you reduce interest rates loan will be easily available if loan is easily available i will go to the bank take loan start consuming inflation will increase more but if the interest rate increases i will not take loan and instead i will use the money to save and create fixed deposit thereby reducing consumption if in consumption is reduced liquidity will reduce inflation will be managed so if increase inflation is increasing tell me what will i do think and answer think the impact if i reduce the interest loan easily available easily everything will be done but if i increase the interest rate people will not be able to take loan because high borrowing rate of interest instead i will put it in fixed deposit high interest rate i will get liquidity will be managed inflation will be managed correct what will i do increase interest rates but it has its own impact increase interest rates easier said and done now you will say sir make me the finance minister rbi governor of india 
I know how to manage inflation. Wait, you just wait. Now pay attention. Now you will increase interest rates. Fair enough. Fair point. Fair point. Do you know what is now going to be the impact on of it in the stock market? Now listen to me carefully. If the interest rates are increased, will loan be easily available or difficult available? Difficult to avail loan. Why? Because interest rates are high. So you will have to pay more. So you will take loan or not take loan. Can I say you will now not take loan? The impact of this. The impact of this is on the banking stocks. The impact. Sorry. sorry. Tell me. Will everybody take loan or not take loan? Very good. Her Kiran Kaur Riyadh has exactly written what I wanted to hear. Not take loan. Why not take loan? Because interest rates are high. Now, if you are not taking loan, guys, if you are not taking loan, what will happen to the banks? How does bank earn money, by the way? Do you know how, do, how does bank earn money? Tell me. How does bank earn money? Tell me. How does bank earn money? Tell me. Let's see how, how, how much knowledge you have. Let's see. Hmm. See, how does bank earn money? Bank has two main businesses. Accepting deposits, giving loans. Now, if interest rates are increased, people will not take loan. If people will not take loan, bank will not earn money. If bank will not earn money, not earn interest, not earn profit, what will happen to the banking stocks? Tell me. Tell me what will happen to the banking stocks. See, main aim, main work of government is, uh, of bank is giving loans. And earning interest. People have stopped taking loans because interest rates are high. Impact. Bank will stop giving loans. Bank will stop earning interest. Bank will. The impact you know. Yes. The bank will not earn profit. And the banking stocks will fall down. Oh. oh. So RBI governor. You have to take care of these things also. Banking stocks fall down. Why? No loan. No interest. No income. <laughs> Are you understanding guys? Now look at this. Huh? Now if banking stocks fall down, what will happen? The spiraling impact. Listen. Huh? Usually you take loan to build houses. Real estate. Majority of loan in India are home loans. Now, if interest rates are high, can I say I will stop taking home loans? What will be the impact on the real, real estate sector? Real estate sector will fall down because people are now not taking loan. And if you are not taking loan, you are not going to purchase homes or infrastructure. So, real estate market falls. If real estate market falls, infra stocks, steel, cement, power will also fall. Are you understanding, guys? Infra, steel, power, cement, all stocks will fall down. Why? You got the connection guys? Are you connecting to the stock market now? Now do you know that if, if now will you able to understand the economic times? Now when the economic times there is a headline. The basis rate, interest rate increases by 50 basis points. Do you now understand what will happen to these stocks? The banking stock will fall. Real estate, infra, steel, power stocks will fall. Getting the connection guys, getting the smartness now. But there will be some areas which will go up. Let's try and understand them. What is it? First is pharma. 
do you feel that the if the interest rate goes up i will stop taking medicines am i going to do that no so the pharma will steadily grow so pharma will have a steady growth pharma will have a steady growth same is the case with fmcg fast moving consumer goods same is going to be the case with the it industry see what is going to happen now is because of increase interest rates local consumption will go down so the exports will increase the exports will increase because local people will not consume they will want to save are you understanding guys fmcg will also increase why because see again will you stop what is fmcg fast moving consumer goods soap shampoo daily items will you stop having a bath if interest rate increases will you stop consuming shampoo or consuming daily items if the uh, uh, the <coughs> interest rate increases no so fmcg will go up why because see other markets are falling down even if fmcg does not go up it will stay where it is it is still up about the remaining ones and people who are investing in banking real estate will now sell and they will look for new avenues people will start coming to new avenues like fmcg its demand will increase and the stock market will increase for fmcg pharma and it sector are we understanding guys are we understanding this deep rooted connection as i told you which even top probably chartered accountants may not be aware of but you are now aware of these things and now you have to connect all of these things when we understand this whole subject here as such are you enjoying the session guys or is it getting too heavy on your head are you understanding the connections the macro economics the micro economics yes do you do you understand want to understand the whole subject in this manner then you come at the right place now what will happen because of good number of exports the see now inflation is increasing so dollar rate will increase because in 1 dollar it was say 90 now 1 dollar will become 100 because the value of your currency is going down because of inflation we will understand this in more detail when we do forex for now dollar rate will increase now if dollar rate increases hello if dollar rate increases india imports hello listen india imports crude oil what will happen to crude oil crude oil prices will also increase for india gold prices will also increase because in india imports gold for india but there will be one place where there will be a fall and that is bond rates i will explain it to you with an example the bond value will decrease yes you heard that right the bond value will decrease why will this happen sir i will explain you i will explain you. don't worry but did you understand everything till here now oh, the last point i am explaining you just give me 5 minutes then i'll reconnect everything why will the bonds or debentures value decrease see here <coughs> now suppose reliance issues bonds issues bonds at the rate 8% interest at the rate 8% interest okay fair enough okay sir done now see here huh? this happens in 2025 in the year 2027 r as per rbi policy as per rbi policy they increase the interest rate they increase the interest rate now what is going to happen say our reliance now say yeah reliance or say new bonds will now be issued say on if 20 in 2027 anybody wants to issue new bonds what will happen people will purchase these new bonds 
सपोज द न्यू बॉन्ड आर एट द रेट इलेवन परसेंट ठीक है टेल मी वॉट विल यू डू पीपल विल स्टार्ट सेलिंग दिस एंड स्टार्ट परचेजिंग दिस सो वॉट विल हैपन टू दिस बॉन्ड सपोज दिस बॉन्ड वॉज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस बॉन्ड विल डिक्रीज वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड विल डिक्रीज वाई बिकॉज दिस इज एट परसेंट दिस इज इलेवन परसेंट पीपल विल स्टार्ट सेलिंग दिस बॉन्ड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट गिविंग मी हाई रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट पीपल विल स्टार्ट गोइंग इयर नाउ इफ पीपल विल स्टार्ट गोइंग इयर द करंट बॉन्ड वैल्यू विल डिक्रीज द करंट बॉन्ड विल डिक्रीज आर वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग गाइज कच्चा एवरीबॉडी tell me guys bolo bolo tell tell Are we clear? Again, I am telling you. Suppose you issue a bond in eight percent at eight percent interest in twenty twenty five, twenty twenty seven RBI increases the interest rate. Now, when whoever is now going to issue the bond will have to issue at the new current rate, which is eleven percent. People will start selling their old bonds. The more people start selling, selling pressure will decrease the value of the bond. So, why did this happen? Because of increased interest rates. Value of bond decreases. Hey, Sanjay Guru, everybody, and this is how the whole RBI Indian policies of finance stock market functions in a nutshell. Did you understand, guys? Heavy on your mind, but I'm sure now you guys are very very clear. suppose now if i tell you all you are the rbi governor of india suppose now let's see how much you have understood you have the rbi governor of india what are the two major things that you have to focus on chalo let's have a quiz let's have a quiz come on what are the major focus things that you are going to focus on चलो पीपल हैव आंसर्ड इट करेक्टली इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड इन्फ्लेशन नाउ सपोज इफ आई टेल यू ऑल सपोज इफ आई टेल यू ऑल इंडिया इन्फ्लेशन रेट इज गोइंग हाई वॉट विल यू डू इन्फ्लेशन इज हाई वॉट विल यू डू सपोज यू आर द आरबीआई गवर्नर ऑफ इंडिया टूडे आई एम टेलिंग यू इन्फ्लेशन इज गोइंग हाई वॉट विल यू डू वॉट विल यू डू टेल मी वॉट विल यू डू एवरीबॉडी can i say you will try to what will you do if inflation is going high what will you do increase interest rates no don't write it directly like that tell that we will try to first manage liquidity i will try to reduce liquidity how will you do that sai sudarshan brother sudarsh s sudarshan s how will you manage liquidity now you have to answer by manage increasing interest rates increase interest rates Are we understanding? Increase interest rates. Increase interest rates. Are we clear, everybody? Up. What will be the impact? What will be the impact? So inflation increases. Liquidity decreases. interest rates will increase what will be the impact on the market what will be the impact on the stocks or shares which stock will go up which stock will go down come on money supply is reduced what will happen to the stocks tell me i am waiting for your answers everybody 
which are the stocks that will go up which are the stocks which will go down and why mm -hmm, uh -huh, very good some so sir the banking stocks will suffer the real estate stocks will suffer the cement power steel all of this will go down sir will go down banks profit margin reduces as a bank falls down very good giri my boy well done guy you guys are killing it yaar acha but which stocks will go up as a result of this which stocks will go up sectors that will go up what are they can i say okay pharma very nice it will go up very nice fmcg will go up very nice and then 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 what will happen to the dollar yes dollar will increase as a result gold and crude oil prices will increase but what will happen to the what will happen guys to the value of bond tell me what will happen to the value of bond guys bolo bolo tell tell yes the value of bond will unfortunately go doom down hey samjh gaye everybody बोलो बोलो चल चल एंड विद दिस कॉन्ग्रेचुलेश आई हैव मेड यू द न्यू गवर्नर ऑफ इंडिया जस्ट इमेजिन वॉट ऑलमोस्ट अ वन एंड हाफ आवर लेक्चर कैन डू फॉर यू जस्ट थिंक वॉट यू वर एट एट ए एम in terms of knowledge and what you are in terms of knowledge at 9:30 am just imagine that and start working towards understanding the global markets financial markets in a more deeper manner and you will see the magic happen to you okay guys great now yes we are done for today because if i teach anything else today then in that case it will go overheads so i want this to be with you to sink in be do tell me did you enjoy the session do let me know in the comments do do let me know through whatsapp i have already given you my whatsapp number how are you uh, understanding the sessions do let me know and then i will take things ahead accordingly new perspective on macroeconomics is unlocked absolutely yes that's great that's great Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's time for me to say, take a leave from you guys. Okay, that's a very good question by by Rithik, I guess. Yeah. See, Rithik Bora is asking one question, sir. How will pharma stock increase as its demand is constant and interest rate is not affecting pharma? Now pay attention, ah, Rithik. I am answering your question. Can I say that? Suppose you are a stock market investor. There is a pharma stock. there is a banking stock you have two stocks in your portfolio pharma and banking now you know because of the increase interest rates can i say banking stock is going down you will say yes sir now banking stock has gone down listen hello banking stock has gone down can i say now you know that banking stock is going to down you will sell the banking stocks the moment you sell the banking stocks you have a lot of liquidity now what will you do with the liquidity you will invest in those sectors which are not affected by the interest rate which is pharma it and fmcg by investing this other investors will also do that this will increase the demand of pharma it and fmcg and that is where the stock market price for these uh, companies will increase even though their demand is constant in terms of their market demand but share market demand will increase because now people have sold banking real estate cement power steel stocks so what do i do of the money invested here invested here demand increase prices of start particular stock increases rithik sir am i clear acha crystal clear assa assa 
increase of instead of decreasing interest rates to increase domestic consumption why japanese government did not take steps to export in yen instead of dollar sudarshan s they did not have a professor sankalp kanstia with them to guide them brother or knowledgeable people like you to guide them <laughs> so obviously see these are the mistakes that possibly you know people understand once they've done it yes okay chalo guys done good 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 session interacting with all of you Okay then time for me to say hasta la vista see you all take care in case of anything you can drop me a whatsapp will be happy to uh yes brother full english everything anudeep will you share the board notes yes i will share the board notes i will make a google drive i'll share the board notes there okay kirti anudeep everything will be in full english don't worry brother and then 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 chalo as i told you all in case of anything you can just drop me a whatsapp your will be happy to reply you chalo hasta la vista keep smiling thank you so much take care bye bye have a good day yes thank you